Sekarang ni tepik baru itu elektromagnetik wave. Okey, saya nak pergi pada ah ni ya. Ah nanti. Nampak eh? Nampak tak? Nampak. Ya, suara kuat sikit sir. Tak dengar. Tak dengar eh? Hai, saya nak dekat lagi ni. Okey, jelas. Okey sikit. Okey sikit. Okey, ya. apa yang awak nampak pada screen ni? Cuba beritahu saya. What can you see on the screen? Wavelength. Ah, you can see wavelength. Wavelength. Size of wavelength. Dekat bawah, you can see frequency. You can see that? Frequency. Can. Ah, okay. Now, can you see the difference? Okay, uh, before that. Uh, what are the types of waves that you can see in the diagram? You see radio wave. You can see that? Radio wave? Yeah. Okay. On the left, and then we have microwave. Can you see that? Microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, soft X-ray, hard X-ray, and gamma ray. What? What? Okay. Now, okay, first of all, look at the wavelength. Wavelength on the top left. What is the value that you can see? Top left. 10 power, or what? 3. Power 3. 10 power 3 means, kalau 1 times 10 power 3 means 1,000. Betul. Betul. 1,000 meter. 1,000 meter maksudnya 1 kilometer lah. Uh, that is very long wavelength. Wavelength hmm. tahu kan? Semua tahu wavelength tahu. kan? Tahu. Okay. Uh, tahu. Tahu. We, we can see 10 power 2, betul? Betul. 10 power 2. 10 power 2 means 100. 100 meter. Uh, the size of soccer field. Uh, Pandang bola. Uh, this is what I told you just now. Radio wave. The wavelength for radio wave is very large. 10 power 2. Maksudnya dia satu padang bola. Jadi sebab itulah masa saya lukis tadi. Uh, masa saya lukis tadi. Uh, warna park tu kan. Yang warna hijau. Uh, jadi wavelength dia antara satu ni. Antara ni. Wavelength ni adalah 100 meter. This line there. Ah, okay, sebab itulah ada punya diffraction ni. Very obvious. Remember, ah, in the examination, you use correct term. In this case, you say it is very obvious. Understand? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sekarang ni, what you can see? Ah, uh, we can see baseball. Okay, you can see house, baseball. All of the um, objects that you can see in the diagram actually shows the size size of the object size of the object is comparable to the size of the wavelength contohnya baseball ni 10 power negative 1 maknanya lebih kurang 10 cm so that is size of the wavelength okay, the wavelength of the electromagnetic spectrum remember ini adalah electromagnetic spectrum ah yang ni uh, bukannya dia ada lain lah bermanding dengan sound waves Ataupun water wave. Uh, yang ni adalah electromagnetic wave. Spectrum. Eh? Sekejap lagi saya explain lagi lah. Lebih, lebih lanjut. Okay. Seterusnya, we have size of cell, bacteria, virus and so on. So, okay. Now, uh, cuba tengok look at uh, look at the first uh, one on the left. Radio wave. Okay, that is the, uh, the, the size of wavelength. Then, this ball. That's the microwave. Microwave, microwave is around 10 power negative 2 meter. Okay. Kemudian, lagi kecil. 10 power negative 3. Kemudian, infrared. Can you see infrared? Boleh. Well, okay, infrared tu dia punya size dia very small. 10 power negative 5. Antara negative 4 to 10 power negative 5. The size is just about the same as the size of cell. Ah, your cell, very small. And then, visible. Can you see visible? Visible. Yes. Can you see the word visible? Visible mean the light that we can see. The, the, our eye can see the light. Yang mata kita nampak tu. Okay, that is the spectrum of the electromagnetic wave that we can see. Actually, there are many more infrared, microwave, radio wave, but you cannot see all of them except visible light. That's why it is known as visible light. And as we know, the visible light contains seven colors. Remember? 
Yes. Seven colors, colors of rainbow. Okay, all of them in the spectrum of electromagnetic spectrum. Kemudian kita ada apa? Ultra violet. Okay, ultra violet itu much smaller. Kalau visible light tadi, around 10 power negative 6. Huh? Dia punya uh, wavelength, very small. Kemudian kita ada kecil lagi, soft X-ray. X-ray juga adalah satu electromagnetic wave. Huh? X-ray. Kemudian kecil lagi, hard X-ray. Kemudian ada gamma ray. Kena dengar gamma ray? Kena dengar? Did you ever hear gamma ray? Ah, okay, gamma ray pun uh, lagi kecil. Uh, sampai um, uh, awak tengok, you can see it is around 10 power negative ke lah. Very small. Okay. So, in this spectrum diagram, when you turn to the left, left, huh, ke kiri, huh? when you turn to the left, then the wavelength become smaller, smaller ke bigger? Bigger. To the left, kiri. Total lah, tengok belah kiri. Oh, eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Dalam, sorry, tengok. Kiri tu uh, bigger, but to the right, shorter. Uh, itu smaller. Itu susun. Uh, shorter atau smaller. Itu cara dia susun dalam electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, now look at the bottom of the diagram. Now we are talking about frequency. Okay, you can see to the left. To the left, the new frequency dia become lower. Nampak? Nampak tak? Nampak. Yeah. Frequency dia, to the left, kita nampak dia lower. Now ni 10 power 6. First. Tapi kalau to the right, become higher. Higher. Higher, ha, higher dia punya frequency. Okay. Dia terbalik eh. Kalau wavelength, to the right, shorter. Tapi kalau frequency, to the right, higher. Dia punya frequency. Okay. Next, ada punya energy. Energy, 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 awak tengoklah to the left, the smaller, to the right, yeah. Tiga. Okay, any question about electromagnetic spectrum? Ada soalan tak? Tak ada. Tak ada, eh? Okay, jadi, uh, uh, okay, electromagnetic spectrum ni so maksudnya dia tu bersambung, eh. Bukan maksudnya, Radio wave, sambung dengan micro wave, sambung dengan micro wave. There are separate waves. So we have radio wave individually, we have micro wave individually and so on. Bukan yang semua, sama. Okay. Itu berkenaan dengan radio wave. Dia punya application, kita boleh tengok kat sini lah. Kalau radio wave, do you know what is the application of radio wave? To transfer. Information about radio lah. Uh, uh, for example, you are listening to your radio. And then, how we transmit the data to radio wave. Wave. Uh, faham? Kemudian kita ada microwave. Uh -huh. Example microwave apa? Example microwave. Microwave. Example dia apa? Yang microwave yang kita guna oven lah. Panas yang makan ni. Ah, tu one example of application of microwave. And then we have infrared. What, the, what is the example of infrared application? So, ni remote. Remote TV. Okay, when you turn any button on the remote and then signal is sent using infrared uh, wave, electromagnetic wave. Well, uh -huh. okay, can you compare the uh, visible light? Visible light, yeah, of course, what you can see with our eye. And then we have ultraviolet TV. Okay, ultraviolet. Contoh so, ultraviolet untuk detect fake note. So that duit palsu. Kita pakai ultraviolet. Kalau uh, actual note, dia ada light yang keluar lah. Kalau yang palsu, dia tak ada cahaya. Kita boleh nampak betul. You have to google that one to see. And then we have x-ray. X-ray, biasa semua orang tahu x-ray. We use it at hospital. And then we have gamma ray. Gamma ray is used to kill cancer, for example. To kill a cancerous cell in the body. Tapi yang ada penyakit kita lah. So dia akan uh, we use gamma ray to destroy the cell. Okay. Okay, that are the application of electromagnetic wave. Okay, a little more about electromagnetic wave. Okay, electromagnetic wave ni when we say electromagnetic wave, maknanya dia ada two wave yang combine kat sini. Eh. 
Uh, say to the group. Uh, sorry. Electro magnetic wave. Maknanya dia ada electric kat sini. Dan dia ada magnet. Magnetic. Okay, dia ada dua bahagian. So, wave dia macam mana? Okay, you draw a straight line sini. So, this is Uh, we'll check with. Kemudian We have another way Yang perpendicular Ini Okay Okay something like this Jadi yang ni adalah Electric wave Kamera ni Okay yang purple tadi yang purple ni Ini bising ke? Tengah tak? Tak Tak dengar? Okay Okay jadi ini yang purple ni adalah uh, Sebenarnya boleh lah mana-mana satu pun sebab dia Memang Electric Uh, electric dan yang merah tadi magnetic Yang merah ni magnetic Magnetic wave So the angle is 90 degree Antara dua ni adalah 90 degree eh. Okay so we have both magnetic field and also electric field To form magnetic wave Itulah yang dipanggil sebagai electromagnetic wave Okay any question before we go on No. Ada eh? Okay. Jelas tak? Jelas. Jelas eh? Kemudian tak ada soalan tu, tanyalah apa-apa. Tanya je. Kalau begitu jawab lah. Okay, jadi kalau tak apa, kita pergi balik pada tim tadi. Okay, stop. Okay, go 